Welcome to this presentation on finding the axis of symmetry by using zero. So what we're going to look for is a vertical line that divides our parabola into two symmetrical halves. So basically what I mean is there's going to be a line through this vertex. That when you fold your parabola over, it would make a mirrored image. So the uh, axis of symmetry, it's always going to pass through your vertex. And we can use our zeros to help us find it. Now, if you got one zero, like we, and here's a little picture of it, right? Your, that's your axis of symmetry, this U-shaped thing, at your parabola, and this axis of symmetry goes right through your vertex. Don't worry about optimal value. That's something for for later. <clears throat> but um, and then that's your this red line, solid red line, it's your y and then that's your y intercept in case you're curious okay so let's say we got one zero right well your axis of symmetry is going to go through your vertex so your vertex would be or your axis of symmetry is just going to be three right and for your axis of symmetry all we're looking for is just the x value axis of symmetry and the reason we were just looking for your x value is for basically x is equal to three right your axis of symmetry is a line this it's a vertical line right so it's so it's just not a point it's a line which is why we're looking for something like x is equal to three so pretty much if you got one zero it's just going to be wherever it touches your x-axis you know let's say if you had You know, if it touches that, well, I meant for that to touch a negative 2, but, you know, that would be like a negative 1.8, right? What happens if you have two zeros? Well, if you have two zeros, you're just going to find the average of your two spots. So basically what we mean here, that's a 0, that's a 2. 0 plus 2 divided by 2. So your axis of symmetry is 1. You can visually check it. Is if you're, if, you know, that's, line, that vertical line is x is equal to 1. If you fold that over, that's going to give you a 1. So, 1, 0. Look to see where it touches the x-axis. So, see where the graph Such is the x-axis. Two zeros. Add the um, x-intercepts. Divide by two. You are just add. That's what we did here. We added 0 plus 2, divided it by 2, or just took the average of our x um, of our x intercepts. And that's it. That's how you use zeros to find your axis of symmetry. Hope this answered all your questions.